Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I have what I think is my last spooky unboxing. And it's from Hello Lovely Box. And they sent like the sweetest little messages on the box. It says I love you so much. I love you guys too. Happy Halloween. And look at the fantastic tape. So let's get into my last spooky book box. So if you haven't been here before and you don't know, I rep for Hello Lovely Box. I have a rep code. There'll be a link down below that you can use if you want to um, check out their merch. They have this really awesome alumni shirt. They do seasonal book boxes and they're all focused around romance novels. This has a lot of paranormal romance in it. I just really love their stuff. I love their company. If you know me, you know that romance is like my reset read. It is the place I go where I just need to like escape. There are people that read more romance than me, but I have a fondness for it. It is, it is my happy pill, if you will. Anyway, uh, you can use my discount code NURSE15 to get 15% off your order. And without further, further ado, I can't talk. Let's get into this. I kind of feel bad cutting this cool tape. I think I saw a couple things online. I see something. I see a goodie, an edible goodie. I think I saw a couple spoilers, but I'm so excited. First, there is Thatcher's kettle corn, some gourmet kettle corn, perfect for spooky movie watching or paranormal romance reading. Oh, okay. There's a super cute like laptop sticker. It says dead serious about books. It's got a little spooky book on it, some flowers, and little little tiny readers at the bottom. I love this. It's so cute. There is of course the obligatory chapstick and it says creep it real. And this is minty fresh fang breath. I love it. We're gonna add it to the collection, a growing collection of chapsticks that I have. We have, well, it looks like it's gonna be a really cool bag. I actually really like that it's red. Ooh. Ah, yes, I have this mug. Anyway, so I have this on a mug and it says, buying books like I'm immortal. And I don't know if there's a truer statement about me out there. So excited. Ah! Okay, so it says, better red than dead little pencil case. Love, actually this would be perfect to put a bunch of bookmarks in. Ooh, okay. So we have our first book here, and this is Morning Glory Milking Farm, a Cambric Creek Monster Romance by C.M. Nascosta. Nascosta? Nascosta. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names. Why do people let me do these things? And Violet is a typical down on her luck millennial, mid 20s, overeducated and drowning in debt, on the verge of moving into her parents' basement when a lifeline appears in the form of. A very non-conventional job in neighboring Cambric Creek. She has no choice but to grab it with both hands. Morning Glory Farm offers full-time hours, full benefits, and generous pay to with no experience needed. There's only one catch. The clientele is grade A certified prime beef with the manly meaty endowments to match. Hands-on work with minotaurs isn't something Violet ever considered as a career option, but she's determined to turn the opportunity into a reversal of fortune. Yes, let's. I'm here for minotaurs. Let's do it. Also, like, I love the idea that minotaurs would, like, take over their own, like, you know, take care of themselves. Jesus is downstairs making noise. It's really hard to record when you live with somebody. I just want to say that to anybody who's trying to start a YouTube channel and they live with somebody. That is all. I think this is our custom book. So they were going to do a custom book this time around. And I don't know. If this isn't the custom book, whatever. I don't care. But this thing is beautiful, and it's a lady of Rooksgrave Manor. Get ready for monsters in your bed. <sighs> Catherine Moon, and look how pretty this is. I love this. On the brink of losing her position as a maid, and with no prospects to go on, the offer of a place at Rooksgrave Manor, a house of ill and unusual repute. Ill and unusual repute. I like that. Um, sounds like the perfect fit for young woman for a young woman with Esther's inclinations. Even better, the invitation comes by the hand of a, the handsome Dr. Underwood, a delicate gentleman with a ferocious alter ego who knows exactly what he wants from Esther. Oh, wow. Upon arrival, the men and the daily decadence of the manor feels too good to be true for a girl of Esther's station. 
There are rules to be followed, expectations to meet, and Esther is afraid she might be too wicked, even for a place like Rook's Grave. That sounds really good. Ah, so cute. And like this one's signed. And I believe this one's signed as well. So that's really cute. I love it. All right. So this is just like a quick and dirty unboxing, but I just, I love their things. I just think that they're awesome. I'm going to eat kettle corn because I'm freaking hungry. And yeah, get me in some good paranormal romance. I need to know what this is about because like who in their life ever, like I, I couldn't have even fathom having to think about a minotaur being out of my league. <laughs> it's just, I need, I need this. Like this is joy. Like how does this not bring some people joy? I don't know, but it's going to bring me joy. So to each their own. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this. I really appreciate y'all being here and hope you enjoyed this little dirty unboxing. Leave down below paranormal romance and I will hop on and say hello. Otherwise, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can use, again, you can use my code nurse15 to get 15% off at Hello Lovely. There's a link down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that may be, because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Bye. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery.